The paid leave policy was designed over the summer and took effect on the first of this month, giving foster parents with new placements the opportunity for eight weeks of paid family leave to hopefully make the transition and adjustment period smoother for both the family and the child. Oftentimes paid leave policies only applied to birth or adoption and mostly what we're finding is inadvertently fostering was left out of that conversation. Adding a new child to an established family can be a stressful time and leaders hope taking some of the pressure off will encourage more families to join the system. As of this month, six state employees have taken the steps to become foster parents, something health and welfare leaders say shattered their expectations. A lot of the data we see says that from when someone starts thinking about fostering uh, to when they actually sign up, there's often an 18 to 24 month lag. What's uh, even uh, cooler is when the governor announced that, he challenged every private business, every private employer in the state to join suit, and we've uh, certainly had a lot of momentum in that regard. St. Luke's, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield of Idaho are among the businesses who have answered the call. So what we're doing now is planting a lot of seeds that will hopefully grow. Paid leave is one of the new programs the department is implementing as they work to raise the number of foster families in Idaho, something Director Adams has been vocal about since entering his position. We want to be the state where we have foster families waiting on kids, not a state where kids are waiting on foster families. The ratio of foster families to foster kids has gone from 74 foster families for every 100 kids to 91 foster families per 100 kids. So we've seen significant growth here in just four months, uh, but I would be lying if I didn't say we have a long way to go. Health and Welfare is partnering with local foster care nonprofits as they encourage families to join the foster care system and create opportunities for current foster families. Reporting in the studio, I'm Savannah Hankard.